Hello, my name is Clay George. I'm a biologist with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, non-game conservation section, and I'm responsible for managing our North Atlantic right whale program. Today we're going to be going out on a survey with some pilots from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and a biologist from Wildlife Trust who's a partner with us on the right whale project. Uh, the point of the surveys today is we're going to go out and fly uh, between shore and 30 miles offshore from Cumberland Island to Blackbeard Island, Georgia, and we're going to look for any right whales that we can find, whether those be uh, uh, right whales with calves, moms with calves, or just random uh, individual right whales that are traveling around offshore. There are only about 400 right whales on the planet, so they're one of the most endangered uh, mammals on the planet. And uh, this area off the Georgia coast is uh, the only known calving grounds for this species. Uh, unfortunately, one of the primary causes of mortality in right whales is collisions with ships. So one of the points of the survey today is not only to document how many right whales are out there and monitor the population's health, but also to uh, let ships know where any of the right whales are that we see so that they can alter their routes and avoid uh, collisions with right whales. Uh, right whales are about 40 feet long. They can weigh up to 50 tons. So to put that in perspective, that's about the same size as a semi-truck and trailer. And when the calves are born, they're probably only about uh, 12 feet long or so and maybe a ton. And uh, they'll grow to three or four times that big by the time they're uh, ready to travel north. Uh, right whales are big and round and black and they have white patches on their heads called callosities, uh, which are covered with little white uh, crustaceans called uh, cymids or whale lice, and that's what allows us to identify each individual right whale. Uh, they have a really, really big fluke, and they have a flat back with no dorsal fin, and when they blow, their blow is V-shaped, so that's how, uh, if you're out on the water and you see a V-shaped blow or a big flat back on a whale, that's almost certainly a right whale. Uh, right whales were very abundant centuries ago and they were the species that was most sought after for commercial, by commercial whalers. And in fact the species was almost made extinct by whaling by the end of the uh, 19th century. And to the point where by the 20th century the only uh, remnant of the population left was the, species, was the group of animals that were um, inhabiting the waters off of New England and Canada. And it took almost a, a hundred years for scientists to realize that the calves that the right whales were coming down here to the Georgia coast and Florida coast to have their calves. The reason these photographs are important is that every individual right whale is uniquely identifiable by the pattern of white callosities on their head. And so when we take the photos, we can go back into the lab after the, after the flight is done and determine which individual right whales we've actually seen that day. That's how we know that we've seen 180 right whales this season. And, uh, so what we know now, after watching these animals from the air for, for decades now, is that each uh, fall the pregnant females travel down the uh, north the, the Atlantic coast from the northeast in, in Canada and they come down here and they have their calves and they spend four months or so swimming around here in these uh, warm protected waters off the Georgia and northeast Florida coast and they nurse their calves and the calves get bigger and then they uh, when the calves big enough they travel north back to uh, waters off uh, New England and Canada to feed yeah, so the right whale surveys start in uh, the 1st of December and they go through the end of March. So we're basically right here at the end of the season. Uh, this season has been a record season for right whale calving. There's actually been 39 calves documented. That might, might not sound like a lot, but uh, there have been seasons when only one right whale calf has been sighted. And so we're very optimistic that, uh, that this year and other good calving years could ultimately result in an increasing population. Uh, Aside from moms and calves, a lot of individual non-breeding right whales have also been seen this, this season. In fact, a total of over 180 individual right whales have been documented by the Wildlife Trust survey team this season. That's almost a third of the entire right whale population. So uh, we're really pleased about the, the results this season and uh, hope that uh, the coming seasons will mark a, a continued increase in the number seen in the southeast and continued increase in the number of calves being produced.